The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In this example, we're asked to determine if each of the following pairs of triangles are similar. In part A, notice that we're only given one pair of congruent angles the 60 degree angles, but remember that the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So we can determine that the measure of the missing angle of the first triangle is 55 degrees. Because 65 plus 60 plus 55 equals 180. Now we have two pairs of congruent angles, the 55 degree angles and the 60 degree angles. Therefore, since two of the angles of one triangle are congruent to two of the angles of the other triangle, we can say that yes, the triangles are similar by the angle-angle similarity postulate. In part B, since we're given that the lines at the top and the bottom of the figure are parallel, we can mark the alternate interior angles at the upper left and lower right as congruent. Because if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles are congruent. Notice, however, that there are no other pairs of angles that can be marked as congruent. So we do not know if these triangles are similar because we only have one pair of congruent angles. So we cannot use the angle-angle similarity postulate. In this situation, we write that the triangle similarity cannot be determined. In part C, notice that the small triangle and the large triangle both have a right angle. Also notice that these triangles share the angle at the lower left of the figure, so we can mark this angle as congruent to itself. Therefore, since two of the angles of the smaller triangle are congruent to two of the angles of the larger triangle, we can say that yes, these triangles are similar by the angle-angle similarity postulate. 